Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And this week's video is going to cover fuel systems on your boat and one simple thing you can do to avoid a lot of headaches out on the water. So stick around. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be covering an issue with fuel systems today. And let me give you the backstory of what's going on. Behind me is my buddy Heath's boat. He called me earlier this week. He had taken the boat out for the first time this season, and he was dealing with an outboard that was surging and really having a hard time staying running. I told him the first thing to check probably would be for some stale fuel, but he brought it over here to me. I've been looking at it today, and uh, after checking everything out, all his fuel lines, I pumped some of the fuel into a uh, clear container and the bottom quarter inch of it was all water. So obviously engines don't burn water. They don't run good with water in the fuel. 99% chance we found this issue and replacing the fuel is going to fix the problem, but we want to put something into place to avoid future issues. So what I've got here today is a molar fuel water separating kit this is model 33320-10 and uh, these are compatible with just about any outboard out there and uh, we're going to be installing one of these today on his boat getting everything plumbed up and I'm going to show you guys how to do that guys this is a very cheap these filters run about seven dollars the whole kit runs about 35 to get started it's a cheap insurance policy because the first time you have to take your outboard to the shop full of water you could have bought one of these at least twice over. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box. I'll show you what it comes with and we'll get this thing put on his boat. So hopefully he doesn't have any more water problems in the future. So let's go. Step one, identify which fuel inlets and outlets will provide the best fuel line route in your boat. Install fuel barbs at these locations. Install plugs at the unused position. Wrapping fittings with Teflon tape prior to installation will help to avoid leaks. The inward facing arrow is the line coming from the tank. The outward facing goes to the motor. Step two, locate a safe mounting location for the filter manifold. Install using stainless steel hardware. Note that hardware is not included with the kit. I used number 12 by two inch stainless steel sheet metal screws to install the manifold. Step three, locate a short, safe route from the fuel tank to the filter input. Cut your fuel line and install the line from the tank to the input side of the filter manifold. Use new stainless steel hose clamps when installing your fuel lines. Step four, securely tighten hose clamps. Do not over tighten. Step five, attach the engine side of the fuel line to the output barb of the filter manifold. Securely tighten the hose clamp. Step six, unpack your filter and write the installation date in the space provided. Fill your filter with fresh fuel at this time and apply a light coating of oil to the rubber sealing surface. Step seven, install filter to manifold, taking care to avoid fuel spillage. Tighten filter until rubber gasket contacts your filter manifold, then tighten approximately one half additional turn. All right, guys, well, that's all I've got for this week's Short Tip Saturday segment. The total install time for one of these molar fuel water separating kits is only around 10 to 15 minutes. That's not a lot of time to invest, especially for something that's going to keep bad fuel from making its way into your outboard. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all about those fuel water separating kits, leave it below in the comments section. I'll do my best to get you an answer as quickly as possible. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I do a video like this every Saturday, five or six minute video on a boating or fishing related topic. So if you like them, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video or go live. Guys, I'm going to get everything put back together before we lose our daylight. So I'll say goodbye. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.